A truck bed full of pot, undercover agents with arms full of drugs. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Steve Atkinson. This major crackdown in Kearney Mesa, part of a countywide drug bust. Our tenders reporter Matt Boone is there live where neighboring businesses were not surprised with today's raid. Steve, Kimberly, those suspicions were confirmed today as agents came out carrying bags of marijuana and boxes and boxes of other evidence. And tonight we can see inside that office building what appears to be a grow house, some ducks and lights up there. But it wasn't just the marijuana. Agents say they actually found highly explosive butane inside as well. You have elite transportation. You have real estate. There's a lot going on. This nondescript office park got a spark of excitement today, though nearby employees say they've noticed the signs for a while. For about three months now, when we come to work in the morning, you could just smell it. This worker, who did not want to be identified, said she often saw people coming and going at late hours. We made jokes like maybe they were the telemarketers <laughs> pretending to be the IRS, you know, because they were all hours. But as she pulled up this afternoon, it all made sense. I laughed and I knew right away that they finally busted him. A team of law enforcement officers led by the DEA raided two of the buildings. We're blurring the faces of the undercover agents involved in the sting. Inside, they found stashes of marijuana plants, dumping them into a pickup truck. From another building, they brought out boxes and boxes of smaller packaged products. But at the heart of the operation, the DEA said the suspects were using butane a highly flammable chemical in order to extract oils from the marijuana often used to make edibles. I didn't realize that, you know, it was a lot more dangerous than yeah. just weed. It was chemicals that could kill us all. Even with her suspicions, the woman says in California right now, it's hard to know what's permitted and what's illegal. We never thought to call it in because there's so many around. Yeah, we assumed it was right legit. And there were people inside as well. The DEA says at least eight people were detained. We saw a few of them leave, though we do not know how many were actually arrested. Reporting live tonight in Kearney Mesa, Matt Boone, 10 News. Definitely a major bust. Thank you, Matt.